हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो एज यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज अबाउट नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एन आई मैसूर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेक यू थ्रू वॉक ऑफ यू नो गर्ल्स हॉस्टल एज वेल एज द बॉयज़ हॉस्टल एंड ऑल्सो कवरिंग द फी स्ट्रक्चर फॉर बोथ द टाइप ऑफ हॉस्टल्स राइट सो एन आई हैज़ अ वेरी गुड अमाउंट ऑफ यू नो फैसिलिटी फॉर बोथ गर्ल्स एंड बॉयज एंड द गर्ल्स हॉस्टल इज द वन विच इज ओवर लुकिंग द चामुंडी हिल्स द ओल्डर वन यशविका हॉस्टल एंड द न्यूअर वन इच इज कॉल्ड यूविका हॉस्टल राइट सो यशविका वॉज स्टार्टेड इन नाइनटीन एटी फोर एंड यूविका इज द न्यूअर वन विच वॉज इस्टेब्लिश इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन सो इट कैन अकोमोडेट अराउंड टू थ्री हंड्रेड एंड टेन स्टूडेंट्स गर्ल्स स्टूडेंट्स एंड यूविका हैज़ टू फिफ्टी नाइन कैपेसिटी एंड वाइल द यशविका द न्यूअर हॉस्टल हैज़ द फिफ्टी टू गर्ल्स कैपेसिटी एंड दे हैव अ सेंट्रलाइज किचन पावर्ड बाई बायोफ्यूल सपरेट डाइनिंग हॉल्स फॉर बोथ हॉस्टल्स यशविका एंड यूविका and they provide for you know quality south indian cuisine and they do have a very good you know facilities to for healthy living right so i'm going to cover some of the you know pictures about the hostel facilities so this is the newer block uh, which i mentioned earlier is the uv car right so this is the started in 2014 and this is the hostel block uh, from that facility and these are some of the uh, pictures from the dining uh, area for the girls hostel these are the typical a room structure for girls which is on the sharing basis double triple sharing uh, which i will cover when i come to the fee structure and these are on very high level facilities now similar to the girls hostel you know boys hostel also has a, a very good amount of uh, infra, uh, infrastructure and they have you know facilities behind the administrative block right for student amenities which is including their playgrounds Uh, on the campus as well as the other right uh, which will facilitate uh, apart from the hostel activities right so again the boys hostel was renovated uh, very recently in 2018 and it has a capacity to accommodate 486 students right and uh, it has uh, facilities for open air uh, amphitheater uh, for cultural events and celebrations there are facilities there are fully equipped gym facilities also part of the campus there is a common lobby a newspaper area a separate room for watching tv washing machines uh, water geysers you know all those things you have and uh, apart from that uh, they have a very good uh, kitchen facilities multi cuisine and uh, on alternate days the uh, snacks and foods are available so this is from the boys uh, uh, hostel perspective so quite a new and decent infrastructure uh, for boys as well and uh, these are some of additional pictures from the camp or uh, hostel life i should say and these are the mess facilities and dining areas as i mentioned so these are overall and uh, coming to the hostel fees so you can see it also gives the uh, ladies hostel fees and uh, comparing it with the uh, fee for 2021 and 22 and the next year which is this year 22 23 so basically if you for you the last column is important so in the uvk if you see single occupancy it is 1 so the fees has increased hostel fees has increased from 1 lakh 10000 to 1 lakh 20000 22000 and this is for single sharing but if your budget is lower you can go for double double occupancy which will be 1 lakh 10000 and triple occupancy which will be 97500 and if it is a quadruple uh, 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 occupancy it will be eighty five thousand rupees right which is the last column so these are the fees for the uh, uvika which is uh, the newer one and the yashvika uh, in a hostel which is only allowing double occupancy their fees will be one lakh ten thousand five hundred rupees so uh, th and this is uh, now uh, I am talking about the fees for the boys hostel around eighty five thousand and um, then uh, you know further there is a increase i think this year to 95000 and um, uh, apart from that student will need to provide indemnity deposit of 10000 rupees uh, uh, and the fee mentioned includes the room rent for both boys and girls utility charges uh, electricity water and housekeeping and the mess facility so everything is included within these prices and the prices which you have seen in both girls and the boys is are for basically one year that includes two semester fees right but during the vacation period they will not be provided with any uh, you know mess facility but even in in case you are staying in the hostel during the vacation period then you will be charged around 300 rupees per day for your stay during uh, such vacation period so that will be additional 
shall cover both the fees for boys and the girls and now coming to some of the rules and regulations so and uh, all the boys and girls are expected to come back to hostel by say 8 30 pm and uh, uh, they have to take the permission for the warden or the manager right for going out and then returning back and they have to regularly fill the register and the forms are maintained in the hostel office right so these are the some of the main details and uh, also you are uh, supposed to carry your id cards you are uh, smoking consuming alcohol playing cards and all those irregular things are not at all allowed on the campus so there's a small uh, you know higher guideline but there's a bigger uh, documents which will be available once you join so that's all i have to cover with the respect to facility and fees and thanks for watching and please do subscribe to get similar important updates take care